Hello, Pelocity Posse, and welcome back to Pelocity. In the last episode, we got here to a rest stop right before the forest, the Eterna Forest, and we are about to head inside, but there are a couple things we have to take care of before then. Uh, let's get a quick team recap for you. Uh, real quickly, we just acquired Peanut, and Peanut has been leveled up appropriately to the rest of the squad. Level 20. Uh, timid Nature, Highly Curious, and then we've got Sakura. Oh, let's just show you the moveset, right? Uh, and he's got now Rock Tomb, or she's got Rock Tomb, Take Down, Stealth Rocket, Defense Girl. Uh, had Rock Tomb from the ETM we picked up in that Ravaged Path. Then we got Stealth Rock we got from Roark. She learned Take Down on her own, and then Defense Girl was one of her starting moves, so she's pretty much got a whole new moveset. Sakura at level 21 still got the same moveset, she, nothing's changed with her. Black Pearl, nothing's changed with her. Balefire is at level 20, nothing's really changed with him. And Asparagus, uh, nothing's really changed with him either. But we do have B uh, Bullet Seed that we can teach to one of our team members. I don't know who, and nobody can learn Pluck, but I was doing some experimenting. And I was trying to figure out who would uh, this move best be suited on. And the more I thought about it, as of right now, I don't think it would be suited on really anybody. It's only 10 power per, per hit. And maximum of 50 power, and that bullet, that razor leaf, pardon me, is already already more than 50 power. So we're just gonna not teach bullet seed to anybody as of right now. Maybe in the future, if we need to teach bullet seed to somebody else, we do have Snover in the PC if if he wants it. I don't know. But anyway, let's head down. It's Friday as the day of recording this, so I want to head back to the Valley Windworks. Because that Drifloon encounter should be there, and we should be able to uh, to get the encounter. There it is. So, I'm going to go heal. Actually, I just healed. I shouldn't have to heal. Uh, I just healed at that rest stop. So, let us save. Do I have balls? That would be a big question for me, is if I have balls. I have four Pokeballs and a heal ball. I think I should go buy some more balls. Alright, so I got balls now. And we are going to uh, encounter this thing. Let's quick, take a quick save of the uh, data. Not like we did much, but we can always save anyway. And let's see if I get the cry here or not. Chatot. Oh, it's a Chatot. Ooh, I like Chatot. Unfortunately, cannot... Uh, unfortunately, in this game, we cannot uh, do the voice thing. Actually, I wonder if there's a way if I can get you know, close to my mic like this, you know, and do like a, a cry for it. I doubt that's the case. I doubt we can, but... The DS microphone was terrible with this thing. You could never make it actually sound like anything. So anyway, let's, uh, I've got Peanut. It's at level 15. Um, I don't think a Rock Tomb should kill, would kill it, but we're going to, so we're just going to try it. Peanut's got a, a attack lowering nature, so I don't think Rock Tomb is going to kill. Good. That's actually perfect. That's perfect. It's like perfection on a stick. Like, if I batter fried it and shoved it in my mouth, that thing would just be delicious. They could sell it at ballparks, you know? We could call it, uh, perfection. On a stick. Ingredients would just be... Batter, batter fried protection. Per, batter fried per perfection. Try saying that uh, seven times fast. Alright, let's say... What do we do? Let's say... Let's, uh... I am in a weird mood today. No, no joke. Um, <clears throat> not sure why I'm in a weird mood today. Uh, I haven't recorded. It's late. It's at now uh, we're looking at the time. It's 6 p.m. right now. The time of recording this. So I don't know. Just been feeling in a good mood. I don't know if it's the the beanie giving me some give me a nice warm head. I can actually hear myself speak better because the uh, for some reason the for some reason the beanie cancels the noise cancellation of these headphones. So when I'm Without the beanie on, I, it's hard for me to help hear myself speak, and sometimes it's hard for me to make good commentary. So let's see if this helps anything. Let's uh, speed this up. This chat tot must have a high catch rate, or low catch rate, because it is not catching. Um, let's try the premiere. Nope. Oh, wow. Uh, we're going to have to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to put this thing to sleep with asparagus. I didn't think I was going to have to, but we are going to have to. Uh... You are sleeping now, my friend. You are sleeping and you're weak. There we go. Just had to be put to sleep. That was the magic touch. 
Boom. All right. Its tongue is just like a human's. As a result, it can cleverly mimic human speech. I did not know that. That is very strange. I love its sprite in this game. Um, obviously, the sprites in this game and the sprites I'm using for the layout are different, so you're not going to see this sprite on layout. But uh, give a nickname to the caught Chatot. I think there's only one nickname, and I had this penguin. I still have it. A stuffed penguin I used to sleep with when I was a kid. I still have it. It's uh, right on top of our bed, kind of on the uh, right on the top of the what do you call it, the headboard. Uh, his name was Chatters. I got him with a. I went out with my dad one day to the mall, and there was this. I forgot what store we went into, but there was this stuffed penguin there, and it was kind of like a beanie baby more so than anything. And um, I named this little penguin Chatters, and ever since then. That's, you know, been my my childhood toy. Everybody's got their little blanket or their pillow or their whatever. My sister had a lamb. I had a penguin. And they're that from that time, my penguin's been my favorite animal. And uh, now we have Chatters, the little uh, the little chat tot, which is perfect. And my gosh, <laughs> Hasty likes to fight. Oh, oh, oh. oh chat tot. Chatters is headed to the team. Oh, he is on the squad. No doubt. Unbelievable. Chat Tot is on the squad. That is for sure. That's a great nature. Oh, that is perfect. Too bad this isn't Renegade Platinum where they like made his stats amazing. This is just regular, but even then I think he's got like not terrible stats. I'm going to actually look it up and uh, let you guys know. Yeah, so looking at the base stats... Chat Tot's base stats are actually not bad. 92 base special attack, 91 base speed. This thing's actually not bad at all. That is uh, that is high quality, high quality flying type Pokemon actually. So we're gonna actually switch Chatters into the front here. We are going to uh, we're gonna get right to using him and try to get him trained up in this episode while we go through the uh, the turn of forest. I just don't want him to go down. <gasps> Oh, we have a move for him. Goodbye, Peck. Oh, he's got pluck now. That was meant for him. That was meant for him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, let's, uh, that's perfect. Let's head up here. And by the way, I know Chatot's not a penguin, but you get the point. A smooch him. Oh, let's take this thing out. Um, actually, should I? Oh, why not? Oh, one hit. See you later. See you later. Uh, wasn't there another thing we were going to do? Oh, there was. I just remembered. There, we wanted to go to set battle style. All right, that was the other thing. And then I thought there was one more thing we wanted to do. I think that's it. Nobody wanted me to uh, trade them a chop for the Abra, so we're not doing that. So I think we're ready to head into Eternal Forest and uh, partner up with, I think, your name is Cheryl here. Yep, her name is Cheryl, and you are. Uh, my name is Paul. Yep. Uh, she wants a favor. And, oh, she wants us to go with her because she heard about Team Galactic. So, she's a little feared for her life, which she should be. And it's dark little, uh, this dark forest that we're in. Uh, so, let's do some investigatory, um, exploratory actions here. Let's get, let's get to some exploratories. Um, making up words as we go along. Uh, the mossy rock is over here. Don't need that. But, uh, oh, we get an encounter. That That's actually something. That's <laughs> that's an important thing I don't want to forget about. Um, we're going to head with Asparagus because I want to uh, put whatever this is to sleep. So let's get our encounter here in Eterna Forest and see what it is. Mm. That's right, we're with Cheryl. So we have to pick... We have to pick our encounter. Well, first things first. If she's going to have that Mawile. Um, oh, God. Which I have to kill the Mawile. Let's go out to Balefire. Alright, so she killed the Azuril for me. That's fine. I was going to get the Machop anyway. Machop's going to karate chop the Mawile. And now we're... We are going to take matters into our own hands and knock out her Mawile. That didn't kill it, but she didn't kill the uh, Machop. She weakened it for us. So now we're going to Ember her Mawile. 
take care of that, and now we can catch them a chop, which Dwayne has been, he's been reincarnated. He's reincarnated. Dwayne is back. Dwayne is back. Give a nickname to the caught my chop, yes. And this is Dwayne, number two. We're not going to name him number two, but Dwayne is back, ladies and gentlemen. Dwayne is back. Heck yeah. Now, do we trade Dwayne or do we keep this Dwayne? That's the next question. I, I, I say keep him. Dwayne is back. All right. So, basically, we have no major losses anymore, and we are back to ground zero. Wow. That is a great encounter. I will take that dupe's claws. I don't care. In that instance, I do not want an Azeroth. Okay? Dupe's claws is not required to follow. That's an option. And if you encounter a situation like that where you have two Pokemon to pick from and the, the better option is the dupe, you go with that because I'm sorry. So that is just exciting. Um, let's switch chatters back out. Dwayne will not be joining the party right now. We are... We are stocked, ready, and loaded. And uh, if Dwayne does rejoin the team, Soccer is going to have to come out because I'm not keeping two grass types. These two are just on a little power walk. I hope that doesn't mean they have power on their team. Uh, let's just pluck the Starly. Get that out of here. Oh my god, that Pachirisu just did a number on Chatters. Oh my word. Chatters has got to get out of here. We have got to switch out. Uh, Balefire. Yep. And then that's going to bite the Pachirisu. Not knock it out. Grass... I, I'm... Oh, no, it's sleeping. Mawile is sleeping. I thought I was sleeping. Okay, thank God. Because we're going to flame wheel this Snover. Get this thing knocked out. All right. The speed up is making this really hard to uh, focus on anything. Uh, Pachirisu is going to get... I gotta knock this thing out. Get out of here. No more, no biting for you. I'm sorry. The only person who should be biting is the president. But I'm bum. Alright. What just happened? I completely missed that. Well. Dude. This episode has been full of ups and downs already. Balefire. Ugh. Man alive. I don't know what happened, dude. I don't know. In editing, figure out what happened. When I'm looking at this recording and editing. Man, I don't know. Oh, dude. That sucks. Balefire was huge. Huge for the team. We needed that fire type. We had that fire, water, grass core. And now we don't have that. That's terrible. Um, that's awful. Let's, uh, let's give Peanut some action here. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't... Whatever. Let's just... Go look past it. Oh, Sharpedo. That's a little scary. That's actually really scary. I gotta get out of here. I have got to get out of here. Uh, Bale... I cannot use Balefire. Uh, she automatically heals you after every battle, so I gotta just avoid using him, I think is what I have to do. Although at this point, right now, I don't know, does he have Ice Fang at this point? Oh gosh. Oh no, I have no idea what he has. Well, we are going to feed Sakura to the sharks. Yep, Ice Fang. He does have it. I. I ha now that I know that, I have to go into Shelter. Now that I know that, I have to go into Black Pearl. I was all fine sacking Sakura, but I cannot do that now. And then we're just going to have to make sure that damn Sharpedo goes down. It's going to keep Ice Fanging, but it's not, it's not doing much now. Oh, look at how much that did. Oh, it's, it's, I gotta follow the, uh, it's hitting the Clefairy, it used to follow me, which is actually scary, because it's making sure that Sharpedo, the most strongest thing, still on the field. That's, that's scary as hell. Wow. Okay. Well, we're gonna head back. 
Because I don't want to accidentally use Balefire. So I'll meet you guys back here in Eternal Forest after I deposit uh, Balefire. Alright guys, we're back here in Eternal Forest. I just want to show you real quick. We did, in fact, bring in Dwayne number two. The second coming of Dwayne. This is not the one that died. This is a new Dwayne. Um, so we've got him on the team now. He's Guts. And so we're just going to keep him on here. Um, we'll grind him up to one of the same levels uh, as the rest of the team later on. Keep in mind, I'm... As I'm grinding, I'm just grinding to the same levels with every Pokemon for right now. I don't want to overpower the rest of the team. So, like I said, when, when I told you that Sakura and Black Pearl didn't gain any levels, it's because they're starting to become more to, on par with the rest of the game at this point. So, as we, as we not, not, don't use them as much, and I train up the weaker team members in grinding, we will be able to... Uh, Oh, do I want to go that way or do I want to go this way? Um, we'll be able to get the team a little bit more evenly balanced at that point. So, there should be no no worry about being over level here in the next couple of episodes, I think. Rare Pokemon. One of my Pokemon or... Oh my god. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we have the type we have. That Mawile just went down that fast. I'm all alone. Cause I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. Oh no. I gotta start taking these on in single battles. I gotta start taking these on single battles. This is this is not good. I think somebody's gonna die here. I think we're gonna lose somebody here. Grass type I can't go into. Water type. I mean, Black Pearl wouldn't take much damage from Typhlosion or Goldeen. But I don't really have a good way to hit the Typhlosion. Uh, attack is 32. It's going to hit harder than Peanut, especially when Peanut's burned. So let's go into Black Pearl. Fire's power was weakened, so she... Okay, so that's good. She weakened the Typhlosion's fire-type moves. So let's just take this... Don't be doing this. They are really making this difficult. Alright, we are going to keep tackling that Typhlosion and get it out of here. Alright, thank God. That is gone. Voltor! Now you... Oh, okay, this is really really getting irritating asparagus get in here my dude get in here knock out the goldine but every pokemon i switch into the next pokemon that comes out is good against the pokemon i have what is going on jeez holy crap um there are, i have no switch ins for this I mean, my switch in's Peanut. <sighs> Peanut's burned. That would be my switch in right now. My switch in would be Peanut. But Peanut's burned right now. I have to... Do I have a way to heal burn? I have a Rostberry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hope... Okay. Fury attack, that's that's not bad. We will, uh, we will take that. We will shift into Peanut. Charge, growl, okay. Now we can go with the rock tombs. Uh, I think I need a heal. I think I need a heal. Definitely go heal right now. Uh, I, don't, I can't tell what number of HP we're at, but I'm going to use a super potion. Oh, we're at 24 67. Yeah, we should definitely use a super potion for this. Keep growling. All right. Sonic boom. That'll do 20. All of a sudden, the Voltorb is scary. So get it out of here. All right. And this is the last Pokemon, right? Yeah, no, she's got two. She's got the Dodrio and then something else in the back. Uh, so yeah, we'll just Rock Tomb it. Not doing a ton. I gotta watch the... Uh, Dude! Oh my 
gosh. Lived on four. Peanut, you clutch dog. Or elephant, whatever. My god. Peanut, you mastermind. We are not doing much damage at all now, though, because of these growls keep happening. I have to switch. I have to... Mm. I hope Shatters can take enough hit. Actually, you know what? Black Pearl. We're going to Black Pearl. It's got that Icicle Spear, and it's got that defense. And a Tangela. We do it again. You send out a Pokemon that's strong against the Pokemon that I have. Unbelievable, dude. This is crazy. But luckily, I think we're gonna get through this without any major losses, without losses at all. Because we had the matchups to combat their matchups. Oh, wow. I think that's the last double battle I'm gonna do, because if her Mawile is gonna get taken out like that... Man. That was scary. That was nerve-wracking. Whoa. Alright. Oh, female Mudkip. I would have taken that all day. Alright, we got a couple of Psychics up here, but we're gonna just take them on one at a time. A Whiskash? Yeah, that would have been scary, paired with something else. I don't know. It's like the Randomizer knows how to pair these Pokemon up. What is going on? What is going on? How many times is that missing? Three times? That missed three times. It's avoiding. Get out of here! It's the wish that wish cash that can't be seen. Holy crap! That razor leaf missed it four times in a row. Wow. All right. Do I have anything to combat a mischievous right here? Um. Currently, everything I have for Mischievous would be neutral. So, I think we'll just uh, rock to it. And we're not going to do enough. Yeah, we got to switch out. At least we got some base damage down. But we're going to Icicle Spirit. Four, five. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Yeah, much easier taking these trainers on one at a time. Get, stop at the wild battles, please. Can't run because of Shadow Tag, of course. Now I can run. Jeez. I misclicked anyway. So, alright. Where am I going? I gotta go up here. But I just wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, screw it. We're going up here. We're trying to get out of this forest. Oh, beautiful. This is actually, I think, a normal encounter for this forest. I think you find both those Pokemon here regularly. Um, green Shard. Alright. Nothing important. I think we're almost out. I think this is it. This is the end. We are through Eternal Forest. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thanks so much. And there's a suit I, uh, listening to my voices in um, editing, I think I'll only do the male voices. Because honestly, my female and kid voices were terrible. Watching them back, I was like, I cannot believe I did that. Okay, this is our encounter here for whatever this route is. It's a swine up. Heck yeah. All right. Another ground ice type. We have an ice type in the PC. We got a ground type here in Peanut, but we will take the swine up. Um... We win Rock Tomb it. Will not be... I, oh, it's neutral. Oh, shoot. That might kill. It critted it. Gosh! Ugh. Dang it! Alright, well, that goes... That's a wasted encounter for Route... Uh, 205. Hang on. That's the same route. Oh! That's the same route as it was bef back before, uh, back before he turned a forest. Okay, so it's the same. It's duplicate. Never mind. We couldn't have gotten that anyway. Well, that makes it, that makes me feel a little bit better. 
I'm glad I didn't catch it. I was gonna say, I thought Swineup showed up before Eternal Forest. Anyway, oh, you know what? I just remembered the thing we forgot to do. I saw the honey tree there, and uh, I think we have a honey tree encounter also. So I'm gonna head back to the honey tree we put the honey on, and uh, I'll meet you there. Be right back. Alright guys, so going back to the tree, it actually didn't actually have anything on it. I must have either it wear it off, wore off, or I just didn't do it the first time. So anyway, we uh, we don't have an encounter there. But anyway, we are back to Route 205, and we are going to take on some fishermen. So let's, uh, let's get Chatters out in front. And hopefully they don't have anything too scary. Unless he doesn't want to battle. This guy does. Togekiss. Um. Sing Mist. Oh no. Oh no. It has Aura Sphere now? <sighs> this is actually scary. Aura Sphere. Are you kidding me? Alright. We gotta get somebody in here. Peanut. Doesn't have good stats. But probably better than Chat Dot at this point. Um, holy. Somebody, is somebody dying? That does over half. That does over half. Sweet Jesus. Well, we just got him. I don't know. Do I? Do I? Uh, because if I hit, if I try to hit here, we are not gonna. This thing's gonna air slash us right de right down. We are. We don't. We don't stand a chance right now. We do not stand a chance right now. We need to get some of these Pokemon evolved. We need to evolve Peanut. Peanut evolves at four levels, so we... Mm. Um, I wonder if I go into Sakura, if I can Leech Seed it. What's Sakura's speed? 25? It's going to get out sped. Um... Try to leech seed it with asparagus or sleep put it to sleep. We're gonna try it. Okay, so it healed up. Alright, we used moonlight or something. We gotta put this thing to sleep. Put you to sleep. And start take down. Oh my god, that was so scary. That was scary. Uh Fury Attack. Mm. Yeah, no Fury Attack. Wow. I normally do not want to trade, put a uh, grass type in, switch a grass type into a flying type, but in that situation, that is the best decision we could have made. I'm going to go heal up, actually, and we'll take on the other fisherman here in a second. Alright, let's take you on now. I think this guy normally has six Magikarp, so he's going to have six really low-level Pokemon. So that's fine. Um, it's just experience for us, even though they're kind of scary. Paralyzed, are you kidding me? They are low level though, so there is that. Not to. That'll go down easy. Mr. Mime, the Pokemon are getting stronger as they, uh, oh gosh. Oh, that's the other thing. I'm really trying not to say gosh. I realized in the last episode I had to edit like four of them out because I just kept saying it. I was like, I gotta stop saying that. It's really, really one of my peeves of myself that I really say it too much. Uh, let's go with Peanut here. You're gonna double slap me to Timbuktu and I'm gonna start rock tombing you to, I don't know, Egypt or something. Uh, Vile Plume. That's a nice sprite. Balancing on one foot. Chatters, come on in. My trusty penguin friend. Peanut grows up a Vigoroth. Woo! Level 12 Vigoroth. Uh, we're gonna go Black Pearl. Cause this thing's attack. I gotta put my defensive wall for this thing. Nice. And a Nidoqueen. 
Uh, we could probably keep Black Pearl out, actually. It must have me an Encore. Alright, can we switch out? Or is it not going to let me now? Oh, well, okay. Pluck it, and there we go. Alright, sweet. Now we gotta go heal up again. Because even that battle took us out. Oh, by the way, the poisoning, I, I didn't know in this game, the poisoning fades away when it gets to uh, 1 HP. I didn't know that was a 4th gen thing. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, I thought that was 5th gen. But let's take on this last trainer here. Noctowl, oh, big mama. Could have had a, a Noctowl. Not this time. Oh, my. That's a little scary, but that'll take it out in one hit. And a Pidgeotto. Ooh, nice sprite. Oh. Pidgeotto's got a better sprite than Pidgeot does. Wow. That is nice. A couple of rock tombs. And we are going to send it to its tomb. All right, let's... Uh, Let's go heal up one final time and explore Eterna. Alright guys, we're right here in Eterna now. Full on and ready to go. And we've got this underground house. I don't know if we can go underground. I think we can. I think we can go underground here in the, uh, even in an emulator. But I'm not gonna. I know we can get some like fancy items and stuff in there, but I don't think we're gonna... We don't really have any need to. Honestly, at this point. If I need to, I will, uh, I'll do it. But I... I don't think we need to right now. Oh, is, can we get the experience share here now, or is that after? I know the name raider is here somewhere. I think the name raider is in this condominium here. I believe this is the name raider is here. Uh, yeah, so we could have renamed our... Uh, this is where we would have renamed the Arsurskit at the time. Uh, but not anymore. Bike shop, of course. Can't buy a bike. We're going to be gifted that thing in a little bit here. I'm not going to get started with that yet. Oh. Where are you going to take us? The statue? I'm not going to take on the Team Galactic warehouse today. That'll be... Or not warehouse. The uh, the building. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Uh, or in the next recording episode, I mean. The episode you're seeing now is going up on Monday, I believe. So, so this is Eterna, Eterna's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world in time and space, in an intertwining spiral, revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth needs investigation. Pardon me, stand aside. So he's being very mysterious still. Oh hey! When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. Alright, hit me with it. An easy way to become a great trainer. Yeah, that. All right, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. And avoid all enemy attacks for sure. You do that and you'll never lose. You'll be an invincible trainer. I guess it was that easy if everybody would be doing it, right? Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statue. See you around. All right. See you later, Stark. All right, let's see what the statue says. It's in Turner City's Pokemon statue. Seems to be a descriptive plate, but it appears to be torn off. I think there's a plate behind him, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Draco plate. Yep, the dragon type Arceus plate. All right, let's um, let's get an encounter over here. Route two o, uh, route two eleven. The route two eleven encounter. There's also a couple trainers, uh, but I'm gonna get my encounter for route two eleven. I almost got in a battle right there with the uh, trainer that was hiding in the dirt pile. Oh! <laughs> oh man! If I can make this thing work, man, it would be a miracle, but oh, wow. All right, this is our encounter. It is a Slackoth, which evolves in what? I don't know what Slackoth evolves. 18, I think, four levels. Um, let us try to sing this thing to sleep. And uh, I wonder if a pluck would kill. I don't think it would. I don't think Pluck would kill it. This, we're five levels higher. We're not overpowered at any rate. Nope. All right, cool. That'll be dude, That'll be a great uh, addition. Slacking is basically a legendary when it comes to, like, stats. But what you name a female slacking, though? Hmm. I will find a nickname and I will get back to you. I couldn't really think of anything. I couldn't find anything either. Uh, but I did 
eventually come up with a name that kind of fits. Uh, we're going to name her Tubba. So, kind of a reference, loosely referencing the uh, character for the Paper Mario games, Tubba Blubba, but not at the same time, not really. So we're just going to name her Tubba, and Tubba will join the team in the future. Natures were not, uh, or not natures, abilities were not randomized in this game, in this randomizer, so it still has the true aunt ability, so I do not want to take chances of that. Uh, Peanut has pickup, so we gotta check her every once in a while, see what items she has. But let's take on some trainers here, off to the uh, side here, Route 211. Alright, so this trainer's got a dragon air, we're gonna pluck this, and a Kangaskhan, we're gonna pluck that. I don't think it has anything too scary, you know, that should be easy. Oh my god. A uh, ho -ho. That's more like, oh no. Whoa. Uh, Peanut. Hopefully it doesn't have anything too creepy, but Rock Tube will take it out of one hit. Nice. I'm surprised that didn't give me more experience. Anyway, thank goodness we had a, uh, a rock move on our squad. Uh, let's see how Mount Coronet towers above us. I want to just be like that one. You want to be a towering mountain? This guy wants to be a towering mountain. Maybe he should go, uh, Pick up some Big Macs daily. Uh, Chatters and a Needle King. What are we going to do with this thing? I think the last time we just went Asparagus? I don't know. I can't remember what we went with Needle Queen when we saw it. But anyway, Asparagus could just one-shot everything here. Uh, we do not have Rock Smash on us, but we can teach it to our new, newly acquired Dwayne. I know I had it on... Uh, What's his name? Zigzagoon. Forgot what. Oh, Bandit. I knew Bandit had it before, but we don't have Bandit anymore. So I don't want to uh, overuse our dead mons. So we're gonna teach Rock Smash to Dwayne, and uh, you know, start using him for our Rock Smash needs. Another trainer down here, and she's gonna have a Charizard, which means goodbye and hello, Peanut. Dragon Rage. Oh, it's got Dragon Rage. Oh. my mama um well i think i'm gonna heal until it doesn't use dragon rage which is not looking like a strong strategy oh sh i missed I missed the, I missed the super potion. I missed the super potion. Oh wow, uh, it's trying to make me miss though. I think I still live the dragon rage. It wants to hit me again, but oh thank God. Wow, uh, we're, Chatters wants to learn chatter. Definitely wants to learn chatter. We definitely want to teach a chatter. Sixty power special move. We're teaching. Get, get rid of growl. Get rid of Growl, learn Chatter, Surskit, and then here comes Chatters right now. Chatters is going to come in, hit this thing, and that will take out the Bird Keeper. Who literally had a bird. Big old fiery dragon bird. Uh, this is Mount Coronet. This is a, uh, a tough encounter. I'm going to save it. Because as for right now, our team looks good. We could get a Mount Coronet encounter, but I don't want to do that right now because... In the future, we might be able to get a better encounter and we can save it when we need it. If we lose a bunch of Pokemon later on or we really need to get an encounter, it'll be there for us later. Because there's a lot of areas in that mountain that, you know, are all the same encounter. So I gotta, I gotta save that. Oh, here comes Cynthia. Oh, that's right, we get an egg, dude, we get an egg. That device you have, is it a Pokedex? Wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Okay, hello, Paul. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately and just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. But who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. And we're going to get cut. Remember, the hidden move cut can be used in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? 
Then luck be with you, young trainer. There's one last thing. Give my regards to Professor Rowan. So I think we get the egg after we do the uh, galactic... What's it called? The galactic building? Yeah. The galactic Eterna building. So I think it, we're going to stop it there for today. Uh, we got to the forest. We got another encounter. And uh, yeah, I think the next thing to do would be to take on the gym. And then the galactic building after that. Because we can't use cut to get into the galactic building until we have the, the gym badge. So we are going to do just that. Gonna go stock up on some more items real quick here. But I think we can uh, kind of start winding down and wrapping this up. Uh, let's see. How many should I get? get? We get a few. We get a couple more balls, too, just to have. Actually, no. I take that back. We'll get two more of those. Whoops. I'm gonna go back to get two more paralyzed heals. Yeah. Uh, maybe one more paralyzed heal. We get a couple burn heals. I don't have enough money for those. Okay, so that's fine. So we will, uh... I'm gonna save. Oh, there's an item right over here, I remember. Oops. It's hard to find the hole to get into here. Ace, another super potion. Nice, so I just bought some and I just got a free one. Oh, here is, uh, Gardenia. Hi, I am Gardenia. I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name was Stark. He told me about you. He said that other challenger's son's on the way, so it made me antsy. At my at my gym, no one gets to battle the gym leader or me until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. All right, sweet. So we will stand right here. We will save the game. And we're going to end it there. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. We've hit 20 subscribers as uh, at the time of this video going uh, being recorded. Hoping that we can hit 30 by the end of the month. That would be a great sign um share this video with all your friends share this channel with your friends we're on the facebook uh page uh paulosity we're also on paulosity pl on twitter paulosity tv on twitch hopefully we get some streams here in the next you know couple months i'm just trying to try venturing out and branching off but uh keeping the youtube content as well thanks so much appreciate all the support we're really really gaining steam i love the views the content is just really starting to take off i feel like I'm getting comfortable and uh, I'd love to see all the all the support around it. So I'll see you next time right here on Pelocity where we take on the Eterna City Gym. Catch you later.